Well, right now I'm sitting down with my good friend and fellow expatriate, Tim, who's the owner, operator, and IDC of a five-star paddy dive training center here in San Fernando called Ocean Deep Dive Training Center. Did I get that right? That's correct. <laughs> That's so, good. Yeah. So, uh, real quick, uh, I'm just very happy that you were, you know, agreed to sit down with us because I think you have a perspective uh, on living in the Philippines that most people don't have. And, and all of you will understand why I think that as we go through this interview. Uh, before we get started, though, I always like to ask the hard-hitting, put-you-on-the-spot question. If you were on a deserted island the rest of your life, and the only form of entertainment that you could ever have was a band or a singer, that was it. Who would it be and why? Um, I think J-Lo. Oh, Jennifer Lopez. That's a good choice. I, I'm almost afraid to ask why. Because <laughs> I heard that she cooks really good <laughs> beef. <laughs> she's a good cook. And don't forget she's a dancer and a singer. And a fisherman. And a fisherman. <laughs> All of the above. Yeah, yeah That would be handy to have a good fisher, fisherman on fishing the island. Person, yeah. <laughs> fishing person. Well, that was a great answer, Tim. <laughs> Where are you from in the United States? I'm from Montana. Okay, what part of Montana? Billings, Montana, near Yellowstone Park. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so, Tim is a retired U.S. Air Force after 20 years service, correct? That's correct, yeah. And he's also a Vietnam veteran. Um, in those 20 years, having talked to you, you spent quite a few of those 20 years overseas. How many years do you think total? Uh, overseas, uh, probably around 14 out of the 20. 14 out of the 20 years. That's almost unheard of, to be quite honest with you. So, uh, where, where were you overseas? I was in Labrador. I was in Okinawa, Philippines, mostly Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia. Wow. That's pretty impressive. 14 out of 20 years. That's, uh, like I said, that's almost unheard of. Now, when you retired from the Air Force, what year was that, if you don't mind me asking? I retired in 1985. In 1985, and you retired right here in the Philippines, right? That's right, right here. Wow. So that means you've been living, so not even counting the, the years that you were, how many years were you actually here in the Philippines, do you think? I was stationed here for about nine and a half years. Nine and a half years. Wow. And then in 1985, you retired, you stayed here, so that's like 35 years. Yeah, 39, I think. 39 years. That's why I don't do math in public. Not so good. <laughs> yeah. Rebel, you got the company? Yeah. So that's what I was saying, that he has a perspective that you're not normally going to see from an expatriate with all the years that you've been here. I mean, you would be hard-pressed to find somebody that has more time. I'm sure they're out there, but you would be hard-pressed to find anybody that does. That's pretty amazing. Now, why did you choose, of all the places that you could have, why did you choose the Philippines to retire? Well, there's a couple actually good reasons. First off, I was stationed here, so when you retire in-country in the Philippines, you get one of everything tax-free. Oh, that's a good. So you get the car, you get motorcycle, TV, everything tax-free. Second reason is, of course, I just opened a dive shop in a resort. So I intended to stay and make it work. Okay. And uh, those are all valid reasons. So it was, uh, a lot of it was for economic reasons. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What, anything other than that, was it the culture, the food, the people, the weather? Obviously the dive, and he owns a dive shop. So. And the weather's good. People are friendly. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, you can't dive in Montana most of the time because the water's hard. <laughs> it's hard, yeah, because it's frozen solid. <laughs> That's it. Now, since you've been here, uh, what is it about the Philippines that you like, that keeps you here? I'm no, you know, a lot of people come and then they leave. What is it about here that you like? I like the weather, and of course, obviously the people are quite friendly. <clears throat> That's probably the better thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on that. The weather you can't beat, the people are really friendly. Uh, with anything in life, there's always good and bad. And so, from your perspective, having all these years here, um, what is it that you like the least 
about the Philippines. Well, when we first retired, <coughs> it used to be the banking system. It was very difficult to get money in and out. No ATMs. Can't, can't deposit money in other cities in your bank. Right. But uh, that's been pretty much cured up now. And probably the worst thing now is still the traffic. Yeah. Traffic is just really bad, especially in the bigger cities. Right. Well, it's like when you first got here, and even when I first got here, there was really no middle class. So hardly anybody had cars. Now it seems like there's so many cars on the road. And that's definitely, that's one of my biggest complaints as well. Well, it's easy to rent. It's easy to get a bike now, too. They yeah. have lots of uh, payment plans, and right. everybody's riding a motorcycle nowadays. Yeah, the traffic is definitely one of my, my pitfalls here. I'd say the majority of the people that watch Expat TV are looking to either move here permanently or spend a significant amount of the year here in the Philippines. With all your vast experience, having seen expats come and go and just all the things that you've experienced, what is what do you recommend to somebody that's thinking about moving here? Well, the first thing they need to do is not bring a lot of things because again, most of the stuff is taxed that you bring in. Right. Um, that would be a big one. Uh, for instance, the cars is over 150, 125 percent tax. Wow. So you're better to buy it here. Uh, the, the electricity is 220 here, in the States it's 110, so most of your appliances, unless they're dual, don't work here. Um, have a good bank account, probably it's better to have it in the States because the peso rate does fluctuate, right. and then you're going to get the best rate. Um, I would recommend getting at least two ATM cards because when one expires, you have another one that's still active, then you can switch back and forth and renew them like that. Yep, it's all maybe good advice. A, maybe a good credit card is probably a good thing too because uh, you know you might want to pay things uh, in the states in credit card and you can transfer money to pay the credit card so it's always a, a good thing to have at least some sort of credit. Right. And uh, that's pretty much keep your shots up to date and, and your passport up to date. All really good advice. You follow the laws. Amen. Follow the laws. That's true. Uh, you're not going to, uh, they're not going to change the way they do things to accommodate us as expats. There you go. The true. expectation is you will accommodate yes. your way of doing things yeah. for them. Well, Tim, I really appreciate you taking the time and, and doing this quick video with us. Is there anything else that you want to add on there? Yeah, I bet I you're going to take another dive class here in the next week or so. Oh, I hope so. I hope to take another dive class here soon. Um, I really do appreciate, you know, the dive shops, the way that you run it, the people that you have here. It's definitely a family atmosphere. And I've said that in past videos, but I truly mean that. It's truly a family here at Ocean Deep. Uh, dive training center and thank you appreciate You're that thank and, uh, you yeah we'll be taking some more diving so hey guys thanks a lot i appreciate it and i will see you guys next time make sure you smash the like button give me that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already share the channel with somebody else thanks for the thumbs up over there <laughs> there you go and uh again i'll see you next time thanks